Thank you, Mark. Now a story the Target 12 investigators broke first on WPRI.com. More fallout from an alleged case of molestation at a Capital City school. And the Providence Teacher Union says students are now taunting teachers with threats of going to DCYF. As Target 12 pre previously reported, there's been a spike in teacher suspensions after a change in school department policy. Well, now the union is demanding action. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the latest. Tim. Mike Shannon, under a new school policy, Providence administrators are putting teachers on paid leave as soon as they receive any allegation of misconduct between a student and teacher and waiting for DCYF to conduct an investigation. Harry Kazarian Elementary School Principal Violet Lamar charged in July with a misdemeanor count of failing to report an allegation of abuse to DCYF. The case stemming from accusations of inappropriate contact between gym teacher James Duffy and several students. Lamar has pleaded not guilty. The law she's charged with is fairly new, requiring anyone who suspects abuse to report it to DCYF within 24 hours. But the Providence Teachers Union says there has been an unintended contact consequence from the new policy. In a November 17th letter to the school administration, the union claims some students are taunting teachers. Students are emboldened to make allegations at a whim, knowing that the teacher will be removed from the building with no questions asked. As Target 12 reported last month, 50 teachers or other employees had been placed on leave since the beginning of the school year. The majority have been cleared. The union is asking for the administration to quickly review allegations before suspending a teacher, saying there should be a presumption of innocence until proven guilty. A spokesperson for the school department tells Target 12 they share the union's concerns, but says unfortunately until a clear definition is codified into Rhode Island law, the school district must maintain a state of vigilance or risk violating DCYF reporting laws as they are currently written. So far, three educators statewide have been charged under the new law. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.